Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowl Photography and this tutorial is quite literally a little bit about me because this is my face. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to work with eyes and make them pop in Lightroom. So uh, this shot actually looks quite good. Um, my eyes stand out uh, quite well. Um, but in a lot of photos you get this real drop shadow coming in under the eyes and it makes the eyes look really dark. So I'm just going to show you how you can actually make your make those people's eyes stand out as well as get rid of a couple of these little um, details and, and make the center pop here. So you can actually see in my eyes the, <laughs> the lighting setup that I use. So I had one above my head and then I had a reflector just underneath and you can actually see it, which is quite cool. Uh, so I'll, I'll pull down the adjustment brush. I'll double click effect so it resets all of these sliders. And then I'm going to bring my feather right down and I'm going to make my brush size nice and small as well and what I'm going to do is just to start with so I can actually see where I'm working is I'm going to boost my exposure a little bit so this is going to make my the whites of my eyes really stand out so I'm just going to draw around the whites in here I'm just going to do this really quickly because I've actually already edited this photo. Uh, I did do some of this edit in Photoshop. Uh, so I'm just going to run around here and do it kind of quickly so we can get through it. Um, do the other eye. And you want to just try and keep inside the lines of you or your subject's eyes so you're not sort of drawing over like that which I really wouldn't want to do um, because it makes people's faces look very strange so I'll just increase my brush size a little make this a little bit faster okay so I've drawn around my eyes here and as you can see if I zoom out they're considerably brighter already and I can make myself look like a really really weird person so I'll just leave that exposure boosted quite a bit and then I'm going to draw just a little bit around the inside of my pupil there. Alright, so obviously this exposure is a little bit bright for what my eyes, um, what I want them to look like. And I do look kind of freakish at the moment. Um, so if I drop that exposure down to let's just say 0.19 my eyes are brighter but they're not they're not completely uh, weird looking so if I zoomed in you can still see some of the details in my eyes which is good which I like um, but you, they also bring out more of the color and um, make them stand out so that, uh, people can see more of you uh, in a way and then with eyes in a portrait especially you want to make sure they're sharp so I'm actually going to boost my sharpness just so that I'm not getting enough not getting noise in there but my eyes stay really sharp um, and you could even increase the clarity a little bit too if you wanted to that that does darken them a little bit but it does give quite a cool looking effect uh, when you do do that and Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new brush. I'll double click effect so it resets all these sliders. And then I'm just going to draw over my eyes. That little shortcut I used, which is for show selected mask, is just the O key on the keyboard. So I'm just going to draw over the colored areas of my eyes. And I'll uncheck that. And then what I'll do is I'll boost the saturation a little bit so I could boost it dramatically and it uh, sort of <laughs> changes my eye color completely but I'll just boost that up a bit more so that we can see more of the color coming out of my eyes so if I turn that on and off you can see the difference and it's only subtle but it really does uh, uh, improve what a portrait looks like if you can really see somebody's eyes that is uh, a really big thing um, that is very important and if you wanted to adjust the color temperature or tint 
I mean my eyes purpley blue and I've accidentally done a spot there <laughs> so I'll reset those and I could bring in just a tiny bit more blue if I really wanted to and drop a bit of green in there why not um, I'm not actually using this portrait I've done a different edit on it but I've hoped you enjoyed this quick tutorial um, please do like comment and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube if you're watching in the Lightroom Learning Center please do continue to explore there's a link just below this video uh, in the description underneath uh, on how to whiten teeth in Lightroom so you can check that one out as well and I will see you in the next video